very, very nice. Beautiful high mass strike. And if there was a unit next to it, then it's most definitely dead. Hello guys, and welcome to a new Broken Arrow video today by me, Vulcan. In this one, I'm going to be playing on Baltisk, and I'm going to be using my US No Tracks Battle Group, which is very similar to the Russian one that I did a video on recently, whereby I have no tractor vehicles whatsoever, including tanks. So we don't even have a tank tab, as you might have noticed. But at the start, we're going to be, of course, starting with our Hornets. We have three F-18Ds, and they will hopefully be able to help us shoot down this poor SU-35 that has come in all on its lonesome. Uh, there is some helicopters at the back we can take care of. There's a couple of MI-26s actually, so we're going to want to take them out. Turning to new heading. New course set. That is definitely one we need to kill. Changing course. We make sure we go low. There we go. And we take out this one. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Uh, let's just take that off and let that leave. Take that off, let that leave. And we need to stop them from afterburning, otherwise they're going to run out of fuel before they get out. That was a really good start. Really good start. Now, ideally, I should have already been bringing in labs, just in case they were doing a heavy drop, which they were. Our F-18s managed to intercept it, but it's always a good idea to bring in a lav as the Americans. I think this is probably one of the best units in the American battle groups, uh, because it is fast and it can get to your back point pretty quick which stops enemy airdrops enemy like helicopters from dropping in like nice and quick at the start all right aside from that uh, we need to figure out how we're going to attack this left side so it's probably going to be a matter of using recon so we'll bring in a couple force recon a couple scout snipers we'll bring in plenty of toes we'll bring in uh the mech rifles I'm going to do that. We're going to do one cat dragon. And then I'm going to bring in some mech rifle AA. I don't know how many we can fit in there. Should be able to get two squads, I think. A good old Baltisk. Good old Baltisk. Can't zoom in on Baltisk, unfortunately. I have been playing a few games. So it kind of lags out. Unfortunate. Well, we are going to be able to at least pick up one squad here. And we're going to be able to start pushing towards the front line. I'm going to zoom up on this left flank, try and take these high rises. We have four totus in here, so that will hopefully be enough. I'm going to bring up some supply preemptively as well. We'll get this AA on the move. These labs can join us over on the left side. And I'll bring up a force recon unit that can just run to this position in the middle. So I've got two snipers in this lab. I'll try and unload them here and spread them between all of these buildings. This might leave me vulnerable to enemy air attack. Let's see how they respond. Right, let's push those in like so. I'll probably have one unload on the far right here. Let's get all of those out. Spread them out nice and quick. Let's sell that one. And then this one will unload in here. Alright, next thing I need to do bring in some more Rifles. 
I make rifles usually come in with M113s, hence why they don't have any transports in my deck. But what we can do is go to the transport tab and use LAVs to get them to the front line or just like an MTVR. I can bring in an MTVR separately and then just get them inside it. And that way, if I don't zoom in, <laughs> we can head over here and deal with the enemy forces. Definitely going to need some supply here. I might put some supply behind here as well. Good. Alright, let's start to try and put a little bit of pressure in here. Bring up the cat dragons. The cat dragons are nice because they can deal quite a lot of damage to infantry that's out in the open with their 50 cows, whilst also providing the dual dragon 3 support. That T90 almost shot, killed in one hit. It's rough. The beauty of using the high res. Oh, that's still got plenty of ammo, we'll leave it there. I guess technically what I could do is just pick up the supply and move it forwards. As soon as this says 8 out of 8, we pick it up. I could maybe move it to this one, but that's kind of risky. So I'm actually just going to move it back into the trees. Let's hope they don't have a TU-160 and just come and bomb all of this, because that would be absolutely brutal. Force recon ready. Should be okay, I imagine. Stack up. Prepare for entry. We have a really nice position. Just flanking this point. Need supplies? So the next thing to do is to try and get the Cat Dragons to help push up. I also do need marine raiders, so we'll bring up plenty of those. And the HGM are doing such a good job. I don't think they've really appreciated the position I'm in on this left side right now. So cat dragons against the Metis boys. You can see how well the 50 cows do on the cat dragons here. Might be able to zoom in a little bit. You can hear them firing away. There's certain areas on this map where you just you just can't zoom in. Anyway. We've destroyed most of the stuff on this sector, I think. And this is where I'm gonna bring a couple s'mores. Uh, let's try and cancel that one. Did it come in? It did. Oh, that's a Marine Raider. We can pick them up with the MTBR. This is well I checked. The spawn. This forward force recon has also just about managed to get into the position. So that's nice. Okay, let's now continue onwards with these Cad Dragons. I'm also going to move forwards my AA, but we'll keep the toes back here just because they have a good position. I can move this force recon forwards actually, let's do that. And we'll have the sniper join the toe in the corner there. Whilst there's not too much going on, we'll unload my supply further up. Uh, we'll get these force recon to move up, keep trying to develop the position on the left hand side. When you're playing like very infantry focused like this, 
It's all just about slow and methodical play. Making sure that you have yourself covered at all times by the HGMs, by the AAA as you shift your infantry forwards. So I'm going to unload some Marine Raiders in here. We're going to unload some into this compound. You can see that they are bringing in the MI-8. Hopefully my mech rifle AA can deal with that. Or my cat dragons die. Okay, good kill. I think they did manage to unload something. Next thing I'm going to do bring up a big supply dump back here because I'm going to shift forwards my supply to this point. So we'll just make a nice supply dump in the trees back here and then I can cycle forwards my lab elves to get more supply afterwards. Uh, let's move forward to my marine raiders to help deal with all these VDV that came in with that helicopter. On the right hand side things are looking pretty rough. They do have a T-160, <laughs> funnily enough. That's something I was worried about. Uh, this is the other reason I need to bring up supply because these mech rifle AA they don't actually have that much ammo Roger. We're on the move. so it's kind of important Cargo truck ready. that we do reload those as soon as possible Picking up that supply and move it back here somewhere so that it's not so obvious. But meanwhile, I am very tempted to kind of try and push into their back line here. We're losing the right side. Maybe I should drag bomb it. We'll try drag bombing it. So drag bombs are really cool. We have the uh, the snake eyes here. Uh, we can go into low altitude. And we can in fact bomb in low altitude, which is really cool. I don't know how effective it's going to be in this particular case, but we'll give it a go. So we'll see, we'll be able to drop our bombs at low altitude. Hopefully that helped out a little bit. And the nice thing here is these labs have managed to get really far up. My MTVR with its 50 cal actually helping out quite significantly. Okay, there's a couple of units here that are pretty scary for me. Just smoke. There's also the VDV there. I'm just bumping into all the reinforcements right now. I'm gonna try and dodge this tank. Ah, we took too much damage. Got disabled. Ooh, big attack coming through on the left side. Getting mown down by the lav AD and a combination of the 50 cows from the cat dragons and the marine raiders behind them actually doing nice work at close range. I'm 
gonna try and move away from this grenade launcher. Right, let's see what we can do about helping this right side. Too far. <laughs> the room raiders are going to be dead in a second. Right, let's make sure we move back the LVSR and the lab can pick up some of the supply, bring it to the front. Nice. All of my AA just popped that TU160. Again, the IR2 went down. We should be ready for this. Uh, let me just. I don't know if I need to move my unit over. The Force Recon might be a bit of a bad spot. Big drop. Should be fine. I even bring a Viper over. Help support this. If he's just trying to clean out these high rises, this might actually work. So I do need to probably shift over with my marine raiders to clear those out. Let's just take out the grenade launcher at close range. Nice bombing strike. Nicely done, Valdis. Okay. Recap the right hand side. We're actually very close to this point on the back. There's a good chance that if we support this well with aircraft, we can probably win. And the interesting thing on this left side is this guy's going for these airdrops. It's kind of playing into our strategy really, really well. If there was a lot of vehicles like the T-15s and T-14s, then this strategy can struggle sometimes. It really depends. If they deal well with all of the TOW-2s, then all of the armor can overrun us quite easily. Because we would have to be forced to use the high Mars. And I have got the high Mars ready to go with cluster uh, so that we can deal with armor but the problem with it is it's kind of slow to aim it's very difficult to hit units if they're on the move and so when people are using the T-15s and the T-14 Armatas uh, which are quite mobile it, it makes things yeah, more difficult My lab actually ran out of ammo. Do I have another lab? I do. I have this lab. I'm going to move this lab to the right to help with the MI 35s. Sell the Humvees and the MTBRs. Unfortunately, this infantry looks like it got found. But really nice position that we have on the left now. I'll try and pull back these raiders so they can get fixed up as well. Lab's got full ammo again. And I do have my Viper out wide. Let's bring that further to the right now. Next waypoint. AH 
They might just sell those, it looks like. One nice thing would be if I could get the Force Recon into the church. This church building right here has good line of sight. I could also get one up on the edge of this tree line. That would be fantastic. Brown Alert got a couple shots off, so we'll bring in our own. We're going to bring it in nice and low. I'm hoping that my two mech rifles here will be able to get shots on. Uh, they couldn't. I managed to take out another unit with the harm, so that's good. See if it actually got the kill, because if not, might as well give it another go. Now we'll let it leave. Alright, now we've got Terminators and T90s on the way. So that, for us, is actually kind of more difficult to deal with, especially the Terminators. Terminators can rip through infantry very, very quickly. Let's get my HIMARS working for me. Give him another supply dump here. Tactical truck ready to haul. I'll just put that behind one of these buildings. Rocket artillery ready, sir. Proceeding to next base of fire. I didn't get that extended strike today. Moving. That is unfortunate. Let's get the LABL forwards. These do have machine guns on them, so might as well use them to help out. This is more of the assault infantry coming in. The trouble is, as soon as they get close enough, all of my grenade launchers open up and they get absolutely ruined, so machine guns off my supply vehicles even helping in this case. Okay, 52 trying to sneak over. That's not going to have a good time. <laughs> All right, most of my infantry has been wiped out. All right, we do still have access to at least one marine raider. If that had happened before they attacked, then I would actually be in a terrible position right now. Because they did it after, it really doesn't matter all that much. Another good bombing strike. Got dragons in a good position up on that hill. Alright, we just need to reinforce ourselves now. Unfortunately, because this infantry strategy, it is extremely hungry on income. So you'll see that my income is really low right now. That's also because I wasn't losing anything for a long time. I just saw that Baratinos, we gotta hit those ASAP. Order, sir. Order, sir. I'm just gonna let them fire, because otherwise I'll have to re aim. Mm, with any luck, we'll hit the mark.
close. But unfortunately, they managed to get away. So I imagine they're probably going to be chilling next to that supply. It did just go up in smoke. Ah, uh, let's just have this cat dragon run back over here. Also, I think my toe... Actually, no, my toe's fine. It's my sniper that's actually out of ammo. Interesting. Well, let's just switch out the snipers then while that sniper goes back and reloads. Hi, Mars are ready to go. I think I'm going to move them a bit closer, maybe. Maybe not too close. Closer means less dispersion. If I could get a sniper further up as well, we could actually laze the high Mars onto target, which would be really cool. Yeah, right now we just need more infantry over here. Let's go with an MT VR and we'll get my mech rifles on board again. Nice, good push coming through here. Uh, there is, see, that unit up on the ridge there. Maybe I just send my Humvees over there with the s'mores. I might just be able to make it a bit of a push through the trees. No reason for this mech to be so far back. And if these are all loaded up... And we'll be on our way. I think we just follow the flames. Follow the flames. I'm going to have to do dodge the flames. We're going to obviously go through them unless they dissipate. They have. <laughs> He's just running through there, destroying everything with his tank blob. Me trying to make a point of not using tanks at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, guys did a good job of just blitzing everything with his. We're gonna deal with all this stuff. I'm gonna fire where that one rocket came from. I'm pretty sure it's a Buratino. I'm not sure where those tanks went. It's like, okay, they all started falling back. Interestingly enough. We just dropped off some supply here. Very, very nice. Beautiful high mass strike. And if there was a unit next to it, then it's most definitely dead. See if they let my marine raiders move in here and take this flag. That would be kind of funny if they did. I do have another marine unit here. Also, why? Yeah, we gotta not waste my mech rifles. No, <laughs> we are decapping it. Oh, 
see if they notice. Okay, high miles ready to go again. Do reload nice and quick. Uh, that T-15 is a problem. I can bring in both my cat dragons. We can bring in all three of my s'mores. Thankfully, this tow is able to get shots on from there. And we can just hide behind this rubble. I wonder if I could just... Move forwards here, Don't shoot. Let them come to and us. allow these to just kill the grads. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to hit this, and we're definitely going to try and keep an eye on those. I imagine they'll go over to that supply, so we'll just. Get those two areas. We'll shift back to our supply. Oops, I cancelled my strikes. <laughs> Classic. Oh, we'll just let them fire. It's totally fine. Might hit the forced recon there though. <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> Crew is actually stopping us from capping it. That's funny. We'll target here. Try and cover our marines. Because the Terminator's coming. It's coming. E160. On its way. Oh no. <laughs> here we go. Bombs away! <laughs> oh, just in time. Just in time. Well, with any luck, we are smashing any forces that were coming through here. The game has just completely frozen on me. We are capping, so hopefully we win. It looks like we might. The time is still ticking down, I just can't do anything. Hmm, it's a very odd bag. I don't think I've ever had this one before. <laughs> but there it is. We won. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> 52 kills, 22 losses actually got the most kills in that game but no tanks no tanks whatsoever uh what do we say to our enemies no thank you <laughs> okay you guys can leave now i hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye